The goal of the procedure is to close this hole in order to stop the visual loss and perhaps even lead to small improvement. In the majority of cases, your surgeon will proceed in the following manner. After having performed a vitrectomy, a procedure where the vitreous gel is scooped out with a vitrectomy machine and then replaced with a substitute liquid, the surgeon will then remove the posterior hyaloid, the envelope of the vitreous, attached to the retina. To aid in the healing of the hole, the doctor will then remove the internal limiting membrane of the retina in the entire posterior region. This is a film a few microns thick, that is, ten times thinner than a strand of hair. The doctor will need to inject a bubble of gas into your eye to push down on the sides of the hole. This bubble of gas, adhering to Archimedes' laws, will rise. If you want the bubble to push on the macula and your recovery to go well, you will have to put your macula towards the top. That is to say, you need to look down towards the ground below your head. This is what we call the bubble position.